An important first step to learning this song is to master the B minor chord because it is all over the place in this song. As far as the right hand, generally I get through most of it by just using the middle finger, index finger, and the thumb. So for example, the first measure, I go middle finger on the second string plus the thumb, index finger, thumb, index, middle, index. For most of this piece, the melody line is going to be the first beat and the third beat of each measure. And on those notes, I will use rest stroke to try and bring that out a little bit. So for example, rest, 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 and so on. Now if you look at the first measure, it's just a B minor chord, and I go middle finger, index, thumb, index, middle, index. Next measure is the same chord. You're going to shift the middle finger and the index finger to the first and second string. Measure three, I just keep these two fingers down, and I put my first finger on the second fret, second string. And then I go back to the B minor chord, keeping these notes down for measure four. So the first four measures go like this. Measure five, I keep the bar down and I move my middle finger to the third string, and I take off my pinky, and you're all set. Measure six, you're back to that B minor chord. Measure seven, all open. And then second finger goes to the first fret. And then I do a bar at measure eight, and put my middle finger on the third string, and my third finger is going to go on the fourth string. So measure seven and eight again. So two things about that. First, you could certainly use your first finger here. then I find it's harder to get to the bar if I do that. If I use my second finger, then my first finger is sort of already in the air, ready to go down for measure eight. Second thing is, is for measure eight, I don't put the second and third fingers down until I need them. So if I go, so bar goes down, then I put my middle finger down, and then I put my third finger down. So again. Right, so measures five through eight go like this. Measures 9, 10, and 11 are the same as measures 1, 2, and 3. So if you look at measure 12, you're going to be in the third position, which just means your first finger is at the third fret, on the second string, third fret, and then the third string, fourth fret for this finger, and then the fifth fret on the fourth string for that one. So it goes. So if you look at the measure before, you're here. You've got the first finger is going to be a guide finger. So you just move that up to the third fret. And there you go. So one more time. Measure 13 is an A7 chord. 
which then measure 14 as a B minor chord. And then measure 15 <clears throat> is the same as measure 5. So if I play 9 through 15, it goes like this. And then measure 16, I begin with a B minor chord, 3rd string, 2nd string, and then I go to the 4th string, and then I play an open 2nd string, and then a B 2nd fret on the 5th string. So that last measure measure 17, you're going to begin with this chord right here. So 1st finger, 2nd fret, 1st string, 2nd finger is going to be 2nd string, 3rd fret, and then your 3rd finger is going to be on the 4th fret on the 4th string. So the move from 17 to 18, you're starting off here. Take off your middle finger and move the first finger up to the second fret, second string. Then we go to a B minor chord. And then we've seen this next measure before. Middle finger goes up, third finger stays where it's at. Back to the B minor chord. The third finger is going to stay down. First finger goes to the second fret, second string. Middle finger goes to the third fret, third string. And then B minor chord again. And then you're going to keep the third finger down. Fourth finger comes off. Middle finger goes up to the third fret, third string. So there I will use my ring finger. I go middle finger, ring finger, index, middle, thumb. Measures 17 through 24 sound like this. Measure 25, you begin with a B7 chord. And I take everything off, play the outer two strings, and then I put the first finger down on the second fret, fourth string. So those two measures again. Everything comes off, first finger goes down. Then it turns into an A7 chord. And then your middle finger goes to the third fret. Open four, fourth fret on the fourth string, for, uh, second fret on the third string, and then your second string back to three. So those two measures. I do try and hold everything down in measure 28 to allow it to ring. All of those notes are in the same chord. If I do measure 27 and 28, it sounds like this. Then we go to an A minor 7th chord. And you keep your middle finger down. Pinky goes on the 3rd fret. First string, and you're gonna hit the fourth string and the first string. Fourth finger comes off, and then second finger goes on the first fret, second string. Third finger goes on the second fret, fourth string. So you could very easily go one and two here. 
So you go. Because you're all set. But for me, by you by switching that, I'm sort of preparing myself for the next measure where the first finger comes over to the first fret on the sixth string. So if I go. set. Part of technique is just finding efficient fingerings for both your left and your right hand. You want to try and make it as easy as possible and your fingerings should be used for musical reasons and also for technical reasons. So we do that again. First finger is all set and then I move my middle finger to the first fret third string. And then you move it up to an F sharp major seven chord. Measures 33 through 39 are the same as measures one through seven. If we take a look at measure 39, it goes like this. Open strings, second finger on the first fret. So another deja vu moment, we've had this, this before. And I go into a bar, second fret for measure 40. Third finger goes down on the fourth fret, fourth string. Second finger goes to the third fret, third string. And then your bar covers the other notes. So you've got, and take off your third finger, hit the fourth string, and then second string. So measures 39 and 40 are like this. Measure 41, we're going to have first finger on the second fret, first string, second finger on the third fret, second string, and third finger on the fourth fret, third string. You can hit the first string and the open four. And then we do a bar at four, and then third finger is going to go to the sixth fret on the second string. Keep your bar and you're gonna form this chord right here. So pinky on the sixth fret, first string, middle finger on the fifth fret, second string, and then third finger on the sixth fret, third string. Then your pinky is gonna be a guide finger to the seventh fret on the first string. And I have that note down, plus the fifth fret, fourth string. So you hit those two, open second string, Third finger goes down on the seventh fret, third string, second string, first string, open second string. So those two measures again. So measures 41 through 44 are like this. So measure 45, we're going to do a bar at two. I just cover four of the six strings. Middle finger is third fret, first string. Third finger is third fret, fourth string. And then measure 46 is a B minor chord, except you're going to hit the fourth string this time. And then measure 47, full bar, middle finger on the third fret, third string. And then first fingers on the second fret, fifth string, you play that note, plus the open four and open two. So that line goes like this. So this song has a lot of bar chords in it, and that's part of the reason why I think Segovia made this an etude, is it's very easy to drain your hand of your left hand strength 
by using bars. So you want to take every moment you can to relax your left hand. So for example, in measure 37, you have this bar in 38. Well, we have open strings here, so you need to completely rest your hand, and then you go back into the bar. Measure 41, it's not a bar, so you can kind of rest your hand a little bit. And you go to a bar here, still a bar, and then not a bar, so you can kind of rest your hand a little bit there. And as far as bar chords go, you want to make sure to just press down enough to make the sound and not like have like the death grip on the guitar. So one thing you can do is like try a B minor chord and press down, gradually press down harder and harder until you get a good sound. That's as hard as you need to press. You don't need to press any harder than that. So really focus as you're playing this piece on using just enough energy to be able to play it, but not using any more than you have to.